start i am getting over an awful rubbish cold flu thing so my voice is sounding even more manly than what it usually does but i do want to talk about something which is very serious um and that's our ears our ears are everything if you're a musician next to your hands your your ears are the most important tools you have on you to be able to do your thing on the guitar or if you're a piano player, drummer, or if you're someone like Prince and Lenny Kravitz and Richie Kotzen, you can do it all. But your hands and your ears are the most important tools you have as a musician and as a guitar player. So it's important to look after your hands, but also very important to look after your ears. And if you are a gigging musician, if you're a gigging guitar player, um, it doesn't have to be gigging, it could be at home, studio, or whatnot, but especially with live playing, you know, most of the time it's very, very loud, <laughs> All right? And your ears can take a pounding. And, you know, I've been a working musician and playing live for 20 years now, since I was a kid, since I was a teenager, I started doing my first gig and whatnot. And actually, I, I did a video of my early years of playing. I'll make sure I'll put a little tag up there if you want to check it out um but my my ears have taken a pounding you know and unfortunately i do have tinnitus or tinnitus i never know the exact pr uh, pronunciation of that word tinnitus or tinnitus let's go with tinnitus um but yeah i've had it for about 10 years i would say uh and i remember exactly when it happened and it's so weird it kind of makes you you know it's like your whole head was going, my whole head was going inside out. It was very peculiar. So I've been wearing earplugs, um, not always, because some, no, I kind of test the room, uh, but when I re do rehearsals all the time, I will wear earplugs. Um, but a lot of gigs, I've been wearing earplugs a lot more. But kind of in-ears or IEMs, you know, in-ear monitoring systems, uh, I've started using them um, mainly because uh, the, the gigs I'm on, sometimes the sound guy will want us all on in-ears. Sometimes I'm playing with an 11-piece band, sometimes I'm doing theatre shows, and it, you know, I guess makes sense to use in-ear in -ear monitors. And they are great because they take the volume down at the same time for a guitar player, which I've been struggling with and I, I'm slowly adjusting, is the sound is completely different to when you're hearing a speaker there behind you to now hearing the sound from the microphone and it's a compressed sound. So it's trying to get the, mixed, uh, the mix correct for you. Um, so I'm slowly adjusting to kind of living with in-ear monitors. But they are very important because they, you know, they take the volume down and now you're hearing the sound not only of yourself but you're getting a mix of the vocals, the drums, the bass, the whole guitar, no, the whole band you're now hearing in your ears without you know, stretching, thinking, oh, I can't hear the bass very well. You can adjust it on your phone, all that kind of stuff, get apps that way. So the in-ears I use are the Shure 215s. Um, I bought these about a couple of years ago now, and they're about 100 pounds. Um, so they're cool. Um, 
And I think these were my second pair, because I remember the first ones were 40. <laughs> I bought them, and the day I bought them, I had to use them for a gig. And then uh, they were cutting in and out, and the second gig, they were dead. So uh, I had to send them back, and uh, the shop sorted it out for me. So these are cool. These are about 100 quid. If you're interested, I'll put a link below. All the links below, you can check out. They are affiliate links, so if you check them out, um, I'll get a little cut back. Um, which will help me and help the channel and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I've got these, but these are all cool, but the most important thing is then having a pack to plug them in, so then you can put them into the sound desk and you can actually hear them, and that's where it can get very, very expensive. Now enter X Vive. So I recently did a video on their guitar wireless packs they got, which are really, really cool, really, really great, and they, I think I'm pretty sure I mentioned that video that I've got some in-ear monitors from them as well. And I have used these on a gig. I did a theatre show. I put a video actually in that last video on the guitar wireless pack, so check it out. But I did a theatre show and I was using the guitar wireless pack and not these very ones, but I was using this model um, in-ears as well, in-ear pack. So here it is, you get a transmitter and a receiver and the receiver does what you expect it to do. It receives sounds. So if I turn it on here and turn it on here as well, you can see I've got a green light happening and a blue light on the transmitter here. And there's six channels, so if I click the channels there, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then back to one. And then as it goes to one, the green light will come on. And that is saying it's now synced with the, uh, with the transmitter because I can do the same thing here. I can do one, you've got to push it sometimes twice, which is kind of good because it's not gonna accidentally get clicked. You gotta click it twice for it to uh, change channel, but you kind of match the channels uh, on each pack to kind of sync it in. Very similar to the guitar wireless one as well. And then with this, we put that into our kind of interface or into our sound desk. And I will say actually in the box, because I got very worried before doing this video, it comes with a quarter inch jack, what you will, and then so that, can then in turn go in here, and then Bob's your teapot, this can now go into my interface or whatever, you know, so very, very handy, because I thought, how am I gonna do this video without that? And it was underneath the box. And you can charge it up with a USB, so again, just like with the wireless pack from the guitar pack, you can plug both in into your USB socket on your laptop, charge it that way and we have a nice little bag that you can put it all in and then put it in your gig bag and it's there ready to go now obviously it's very hard for me to put these in my ears and then you be able to hear it and then that way you can hear what i'm hearing i can't do that unless i get you in the room with me right now give you the which you're welcome to do <laughs> <laughs> but you know it's a bit tricky to do that so like I say first thing I can say on experience I've got an idea what I can do but through experience of using this um, they were really really cool the one like I say I could hear it fine it was great I was able to have time to kind of mix it in uh, to the sound I want using the app what the sound guy will then give you or, or if you don't have a sound guy if you're on the sound button that the kind of uh, whatever PA desk you're using if you're doing say a pub gig or something you can then mix in the volume of the drums and the overheads and the bass or that kind of stuff it no, to get a perfect mix what you want to hear in your ears so I was really really happy with the sound the only thing I would say is keep it away from anything what transmits Wi-Fi um, I found that sometimes it can kind of the, uh, diminish the sound a little bit because obviously there's a lot no this is wireless there's lots of <laughs> microwave waves going across uh, the air and it's kind of playing it can play havoc a little bit with it so if you get like a longer XLR cable plug that into the interface the desk and then take no take this part away further away from it so it's not next to anything a Wi-Fi transmitter um, that's the only thing I've experienced. So I can't really call it a negative because so many other things, you know, if you put your phone next to your computer, uh, that can make a noise, can't you? And lights can make noise, especially when you're trying to record guitar sounds. That's really handy. So it does go only in mono, not stereo. 
So what I'm going to do, I want to plug this into my interface so then you'll be hearing what I would be hearing from my headphones. So it'd be more of a mono sound. So at the beginning when I was playing a bit of guitar, that was a stereo guitar sound. So if you go back, listen to that, you can hear it's stereo. And what you're going to hear now is more of a mono sound. Um, bear in mind the price for this, which I forget off the top of my head, but there'll be a price coming up right in front of you. Um, if you want a stereo sound you're gonna to have to pay a hell of a lot lot more money which is if you can afford that cool but if you want something which is a bit more affordable these are really cool like i say i've used everything i've talked about with the x5 regarding the wireless pack and also these in ears um i've used in a real world setting live and uh if you know me and follow me a little bit i do a lot of gigs <laughs> probably you know 100 plus gigs a year or something so um and i i use it at the theater show and i've used it a few you know probably five six times so um and now i have this i'll be using it a lot lot more right so i'm gonna do a similar guitar sound what i did at the beginning and now the transmitter is in my interface and so if you had the in-ears in it will be kind of like this So I hope that gives you a rough idea what you would be hearing in your ears with you know, using the X5 U4 in-ear monitor pack. It's a really, really cool in-ear monitor system. It really is. Um, like I said, I've used it in a real world situation. And the most important thing hopefully you're getting from this is, you know, it really is important to look after your ears, you know. So uh, at least here, like I always find with the ear plugs, um, obviously they're taking the, the volume and the decib decibels down, but I still can't quite hear what I want to hear because you've got the earplugs in, but having in ears, IEMs, I'm able to take the volume and decibels down from what I'm hearing on the stage and then hear the band and myself, uh, which is very, very important <laughs> when I'm playing with other musicians to be able to hear the other players you're playing with. So um, check it out. I'll put all the links in the description box as I always do. So do check them out. There's some Amazon links and whatnot. And if you get some, let me know what you think. Do you already have some in-ear monitors? Do you get on with them? Are you struggling to get on with them? Um, or do you just love them and can never go back to just hearing, you know, the sound of a stage again? It'd be really interesting to hear your thoughts on that. And if you haven't already, do check out my website. <coughs> I can feel a cough coming. Um, check out my website, mikebradleymusic.com and you can get some lesson videos from me and my music and some t-shirts and all that kind of cool groovy stuff. And I just said the word groovy stuff, but we'll go with it because I don't feel very well. Anyway, I'll see you soon. And I'll be Mike Bradley, you've been you. Lots of love as always. I'll see you in the next video. Mike Bradley sign out. Bye, see bye. Peter, wait, peter, wait,